Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today I have another haul video for you. Some of these items are um, items that came in from the last Sephora VIB sale and some things I picked up at Ulta as well as a couple of other online websites. So I'm really excited to share these things with you. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do because in a couple of weeks, I'll be coming back and doing a follow-up video on these items. So you do wanna make sure that you subscribe. By the way, I do upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as well. So instead of me just rambling on, why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, before I get started, I did want to apologize to you guys because last week I didn't um, upload on my normal days. Um, it was just a really bad week last week. Some of you may know, some of you may not know that I do care for my mother who has Alzheimer's. And she's lived with us um, a little over two and a half years now. She's more in the advanced stages of the Alzheimer's, getting near the end, unfortunately. And it was just one of those weeks where she just took a huge turn, did a 180 on um, kind of her whole personality, her demeanor. And it was just a bad week, so I needed to spend a lot more time with her, spend some time on the phone with the doctors. And after speaking with various family members, um, just made the decision that it's time for her to go into a memory care facility instead of living with me. She's just getting into too many things. And as much as I have cameras all over my house trying to keep an eye on her 24 seven, she gets up in the middle of the night and gets into things and it's just becoming a little bit too dangerous. So I just feel that it's better that um, I get her in a place where she can be cared for 24 seven. And quite honestly, give me a little bit of sanity left back in my life again. So um, I'm not on such a watch mom type mode all the time and panicking about her. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, I have her on a waiting list at three different facilities that are nearby. So whoever gets an opening first, that's where she'll be going to. I spent some time visiting them last week. Um, one of them she was actually in for quite a while. So I'm kind of hoping that's the one I can get her back into because... Same staff is there, and they know her and love her, and they just treated her so well there before. So anyway, um, once that opens up, that'll be maybe another crazy week where I may not be able to post as much as I normally do, um, just because I'll be getting her ready to move and things like that. So anyway, just a heads up. So thanks again for sticking in there with me. All right, let's get started with the items that I do have um, in front of me. There's lots, so I don't want this to be a very long video. Um, these are the items I picked up at the very tail end of the Sephora VIB sale. Some of these items I have not tried out yet. Some of them I have. The first one is from Urban Decay. It's the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Beauty Beam Highlighter Palette. So this comes with these three shades inside and they're all quite stunning. Um, I've only had a chance to try this center one so far, so I'm not ready to give my full recap on any of these products yet because I just really haven't had enough time to spend using these items, so that's one of them. The next item was a little duo that, um, it's the Color Splash Cocktail Lip Rainforest of the Sea Collection. <laughs> so this is by Tarte, and you get these two little lipsticks in there. So this one is Rum Punch, which is a very nude shade. There you go. And I'll swatch that for you. It's a very pretty color. It comes off darker than what it looks like. But that is the shade there. And then the other one is Daiquiri. And this is Daiquiri. And that is Daiquiri right next to it. So again, I haven't even had a chance to try these out either. So this is another one I will be putting to the test. Then we're going to move on to the Benefit Boing Erase Case. Um, this was a cute little pouch that they had. And I really like their erase paste. And I've been using that to color correct my under eyes. Okay, I'm going to spill all this. I just know I am. So again, you get this cute little pencil case, which is just fun to throw things in. I'll probably give it to one of my grandkids. Um, but what you get is you get in the number one, this one I have dug into and used quite a bit. So it's a peach color corrector. And then this is also number one. This is their airbrush concealer. 
And I have not tried this yet. Let's go ahead and just, ooh, that's very creamy though. Wow, very creamy. So it's right there if you can see it at all. Because it's really my skin tone. Then we have their hydrating concealer. And all of these are number one, so I won't continue to say that. This looks a little, it's got like a center uh, that's a different shade, a little bit darker. So hopefully you can pick that up in there. And it's a nice light shade. Let's see it right there. And then last but not least is their Industrial Strength Concealer. And that sounds like something I really should be trying out. Uh, that's what this one looks like. And that one is a lot thicker and a bit darker than the other shades. So it's going this way right there. So again, I've only played with one of them. I'll have to continue playing with the rest of them and see how that all works out. But so far, I really like how creamy um, this one is, the Bright Me Concealer. I really like how creamy that is. I put that on first before I go in with um, my foundation and then I apply other concealers on top of that. All right, the next item is the Too Faced White Peach Eyeshadow Palette. And this is actually the second one I've got. The first one that they sent me, unfortunately, one of the shadows broke in transit. Let me take this out so I can show it to you. So this is what the outside of the container looks like. Now, I love my um, Matte's Peach one. I have used this. So these are what the shades look like. So they're a lot cooler and more pastel-y looking. And the shade that broke in transit was this one right here. And I tell you that left such a huge mess, mess inside because it's just full of glitter. Um, that color is called Peach Passion. I have kind of on the fence about this one. Because like I said, I have tried it. Um, I'm just kind of iffy about it. The colors just don't show up as boldly as I would have liked. I'll just kind of swatch some of these. So there's four of the shades there. You, can see, you barely even see that one. Um, they're just not as vibrant as I would have liked, but um, I'm going to play around with it some more. I've only used it like, twice so far, so it's. I'll probably keep it. And just don't know for sure. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. All right, the next item is something I picked up from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is her Pro Pencil. I'm trying to read this. It's her eyeshadow primer and color corrector, and I picked up base two. So I think there are four shades. And the idea of me getting this was to go along right in that very dark where almost like I get a shadow from um, my high cheeks. See, that's why I don't have sunken eyes. I have high cheekbones right here. So um, what I want to do is be able to lighten that up. But, gosh, you guys, this is so drying and hard to um, blend out. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's going to get returned. I've tried and tried to play with it, but it's just too drying to put underneath my eyes. Um, this might be a good thing to like carve out your brows if you do that. I don't, so I really don't have a use for it and I'm going to be returning it. Right, and the last item that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale was something I am absolutely loving. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Fambro's Glycolic Night Serum. So that's a mouthful right there. I got, actually I had two little samples that I saved up so I could use them back to back to see if it was going to be worth it. Because this is pricey folks, very, very pricey. Um, and I just love the way my skin feels in the morning when I use this. It's got a really unique lid. You twist it to open it. So it's great for traveling. Um, and you do get one ounce in here. So it's not a lot of product that you get, but it, you don't need that much. That's the one thing that's very nice. You just need one little drop to do your entire face and you use this at night. You wake up in the morning and your skin just feels like 
it got a really good drink of water and it's plump and refreshed and feeling so soft. So I will probably be repurchasing this. I'm hoping I can make this last until the fall VIB sale. Okay, let's move on to the goodies that I got from Ulta. The first thing is the Smashbox in Blada. I think I'm saying the name right. This is the Cover Shot Petal Metal Eyeshadow Palette. And I have swatched this briefly, but I haven't worn anything from it yet. So these are the shades in it. It's honestly, it's nothing exciting. So I'm kind of wondering why I even got it because I really do have lot of these shades. They're beautiful and buttery though and they go on so easily. So I do need to give this a try and see how I like it. Um, I just don't know what I was expecting. I, I love the whole look of the collection and I honestly fought so hard I did not get the highlighter. I almost got it just to have it to look at <laughs> because if you haven't seen the outside of the case I'll put a little picture down here but it is simply Stunning. So I um, thought I had to get something out of the collection to give it a try. I wasn't going to spend thirty some dollars on a highlighter that I knew I wasn't going to wear because I really wasn't even fond of the shades of the highlighter that she had either. All right, and then Bare Minerals now has their Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palettes. They have four new little palettes that they came out with, and I actually picked this one up in store. I was seeing my doctor about my knee. To drive by Ulta to get to his office and by Ulta when I leave his office. So that's very dangerous. I'm glad I'm done with all of my checkups. Um, and I don't have to be tempted to stop in Ulta all the time. So this is really kind of a basic looking palette. But I know from in the past with the bare mineral ones that I've had, I really like them. That's not even really showing up. Hmm. So there's a quick swatch of the top four colors. So, don't know. This may be one that gets returned as well, but I have to give it a chance and play with it and see how it works out on my eyeballs. All right, this one, I am surprised I haven't even dug into it because I've actually had this for a couple of weeks now. This is the Tarte Aspen Ovard. Again, I'm probably butchering names. This is the Eye and Cheek palette. I don't know why I haven't opened this one up yet and played with it, probably because I have 4,000 other eyeshadow palettes I'm still trying to get through to test out for you guys. This is just beautiful. Is that not stunning? I just love the design on there. So pretty. And then inside, check this out. You get the eye shades on this side, oops, this side, and then you get a highlighter and a blush down below. So you don't get the reflection off all my lights there. Ooh, I'm gonna be wearing that one a lot. Look at the blush. That's pretty too. Look at that eyeshadow. And uh, let's give it a try for the highlighter. I don't have a highlighter on, so let's go ahead and give this a quick try. Ooh. Ooh, too much myself. Wow. Okay, I will be playing with this one, if not today, at least tomorrow for sure, but I'm excited to dig into this one. Okay, another eyeshadow palette that I picked up from Ulta is the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette, and I have worn this just once so far. This is what the shades look like. You do have the colors are listed on the back, so they do tell you what they are. You don't get a mirror inside this. It's just the cardboard packaging, but this is a really, really pretty um, palette. It's blended on so well for me, and I really, really like the colors in it so far. So this one I'm sure I'll be keeping, but again, got to put it to the test, and I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. I also picked up a new Too Faced. This is their Natural Nudes 
um, lipstick, and this is the Intense Color Coconut Butter Lipstick. And I picked up the color Birthday Suit. I mentioned a while back, I'm trying to go with more nudie shades and see if I can get away with doing it. So I actually have this on right now with the Buxom Sugar Lip Gloss on top of it. This is just a beautiful packaging. I have to show you this. Hopefully it'll focus in on it. That's so pretty. They have that lace design on it. And then this is the shade right there. And let me swatch that on my hand since, again, I did have something layered over the top. These are so creamy and they have a shine to them. It's just a beautiful shade. And they have, I forgot how many um, shades they have off the top of my head, but they have quite a few quite a few of them out to choose from. And again, they're more on the nude side, so you're not gonna find anything bright or vibrant or anything like that, but they're very, very comfortable and long wearing to wear. I've actually worn this four or five times because I really like this combination I've got going on right now. All right, guys, I am so late to the game on this one. And I, I'm still hesitant to even try it because I used the IT regular foundation before and I never liked it whatsoever. It was so thick on my skin and it never really blended in. And everybody kept talking about the CC cream. So I went ahead and picked it up. Main reason I thought this would be great because it does have um, a US, or I'm sorry, uh, SPF of 50 in it. And I thought for the summertime, that will be good. Um, this is in the color Fair. I'm sure you all know about this. I need to put it to the test and see how it works out for me. So this will be coming up soon in one of my Battle of the Foundations. But I finally broke down and got it. So I'll see if you're all right. And I don't normally talk about my perfumes when I do any of my hauls because um, it's impossible for me to describe a scent. I just don't have it in my vocabulary or a way of describing them. Um, but this is the Ari by Ariana, Ariana Grande. I can't talk. And this is the Rollerball perfume. I have her um, Sweet Like Candy one. And something about going into the summertime, I'm looking for things that are sweeter smelling. Um, I like to wear a lot of the muskier scents and vanilla -y things in the like winter and fall. But when I go into summer, I like things that are a little lighter. And this one is so, so pretty. When I was in Ulta, I think I sampled probably 30 different perfumes. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to get. And because I have so many perfumes, I don't normally pick up the full size bottle unless it's something I know I'm going to absolutely fall in love with and wear a lot of. So I tend to pick up the roller balls just because I switch my perfumes out all the time. But this is one I did go ahead and get and I'm loving it so far and I will be keeping it for sure. Another thing I picked up is I got some of these Invisa bottles. You guys seen these? Heard of them? They are ponytail holders or bun holders. They look like the little things you get on your keychain, but you'd be surprised at how much these things will extend out. And then they go back into shape. Now, if it ever gets too big, what you can do is drop this into some hot water for just a little bit and it'll shrink back up to this shape. I had picked up, I'll do a comparison, this is one that I got off of Shop Miss A, and this is the actual Invisibobble. This one has worked really pretty good. Um, it only goes you know, about the same thing, you know, same width, but it's actually a thicker material, as you can see. So this one is a lot thicker. So I have one in my hair right now. And I like these much better than regular hair ties because you've got a lot more flexibility to them. Um, people have told me that when they take them out, they don't get those creases in their hair. I still do a little bit, but I think that's because my hair is just naturally wavy and it wants to do that anyway. Um, but it's not as bad as when I wear regular hair ties. So 
I've really been liking these so far and I think I'm going to pick up some other shades because they come in like brown and clear and I think assorted colors and things like that. They're a little on the spendy side, but hey, they're going to last for quite a while. So I don't tend to lose these types of things. They're in my hair and then I have a little cup to keep them in at the end of the night. Or I usually just actually have my hair in a ponytail when I go to bed, to be quite honest with you, to keep it up out of my face. So I really like these. And again, comparing them to the Shop Miss A, these work just as well. These are just a little bit smaller. Okay, this next item I picked up off of Lancome's website. It is their Absolute BX Makeup. Um, this one has an SPF of 18 in it, and I did get a request from one of my viewers to go ahead and do a review on this. So I ordered it off the Lancome's website. This is a stunning frosted glass bottle. And I have worn it one time, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it until I do my review on it. I picked up the shade Absolute, sorry, ab, yeah, Absolute Pearl. So be on the lookout for that. And then what blew me away is I got all these goodies from them. So I hope you can see this whole bag they sent me. So it's got the pink handle and it says Lancome right on there. And then inside that was this cute little lip pouch that zippers. And it's so fun. Okay, let's go through everything I got inside here. I got their bifacial, what is this? Double action eye makeup remover. So that one looks like one of the ones you need to shake to uh, get them to mix together. So that's pretty good. I got 1.7 ounces in that. Then I got their Regenery Lift Multi-Action Sunscreen Lifting and Firming Cream. Oh, that smells really, really good. So it's just a whipped cream type thing in there. And I got a little eyeshadow quad. Why the quad? There's five. What do you call it when it's five? I don't know. Anyway, you can find my shadows in there. So I have not played with this one either. And it has does have a little mirror inside. So this would be great for traveling or just throwing in your purse. Then I got a sample of their Hypnos Drama Mascara. Weird little wand. It's got a... It's hard to see in this, but it does have a little bit of arch in it there. That's a big wand though. And last but not least, a lipstick. And this is in the color Poach Nude. And that is the shade there. And let me swatch that for you too. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty nude. Pretty pink nude. How's that? Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool that I got all those goodies just for buying the mask or for the foundation, so pretty good deal. All right, the last thing that I picked up is from the Laura Lee Los Angeles website, and that is her new Nudie Patootie palette. And I picked this up when it went on sale, and I mean the minute it went on sale, I was at her website because I wanted to make sure that I was able to pick it up. And I got nervous and didn't think that my order was going through because my computer kind of locked up, so I ran back in and placed the order. And then um, several days later, I got two of them in the mail. So I had to return one of them. Um, but anyway, this is what the palette looks like. So you get a very nice combination of mattes and shimmers and just plain out, you know, all glitter. Um, this one here, Jaybird, that one is like a duochrome color. So my only complaint about this palette is there is not a good all over the lid shade. Um, this one here, Stark, is just way too white. So that one doesn't work. So let me swatch these for you real quick. I'll show you how they look and, and then you can get an idea of how it all goes. Okay, before I show you all the swatches, I do want to explain that any of the colors that are very glittery, like Jaybird or On Naturel, you want to go in with either your finger or a wet brush to apply these. That's going to give you the best payoff for these. Just as an example, um, I applied the top, this is Jaybird, 
So the top one is just with the brush. The second one is with my finger. So you can see that's a completely different type of payout that you're going to get. So anyway, that's my recommendation is to make sure that you use, again, a your finger or a wet brush when you apply the shimmer shades on those. But the mattes blend out beautifully. Um, again, my only complaint is I just didn't have a good all over the lid color. So let's go over what all these colors are. Starting at the top here, see it right there, is stark. And then just going down, we have undressed, topless, streaking, uncover, strip, bare, exposed, on natural, reveal, jaybird, butt naked, buff, and nakey, nakey. So as you can see, all of her names go with the nudie patootie name on there. So I think those are really cute names. All right, guys, I only have one more item. This is just something random I picked up when I was in my Fred Meyers the other day. And this is the new limited edition Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. And this is a tropical scent to it. So it's only $4.99. Look at this mister. That is probably the best mister I've ever seen in any type of a setting spray. This is beautiful. It smells so good right now and it's so refreshing. So I've already ordered a backup of this <laughs> because I wanna make sure that you don't run out of it, especially since it is a limited edition one. Um, you do only get 1.69 fluid ounces in there. So again, you don't get a lot, but it's only 4.99. So I like the size because this will be great for traveling with as well. All right, guys, that brings us to an end of all of the goodies that I picked up on my haul. Again, make sure that if you have not subscribed to my channel, that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified in a couple of weeks when I do my, um, kind of come back and give my general thoughts on this. I might tie this into one big one of my original um, VIB sale that I did because I still haven't come back and done a test on that. So I think I'm just going to add these items to those items and just make it one big review on everything. So that's the end of the video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give this a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it does help me a lot. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you'd like to see me do in a video, please leave me a comment down below. That's where I get the ideas from you guys to pick up products like this to do a review on them. So as always, you guys, I love you. Thanks again for your patience and bye-bye.